We've only been here for less than two months, but already we've formed synergies with companies that we would never have expected. Just because we started chatting with them and asking them about their business, they asked us about ours. You can just open someone's door and start talking to them about what they do. And that is kind of the way ideas get exchanged. And in the end of the day, more ideas make for better products. For every startup that succeeds in Israel is everyone's success here. You don't see a lot of competition between Israeli startups. Their competition is actually overseas. The secret to the Israeli high-tech is basically chutzpah. The Israeli offices of our company are located in a co-working space. And what's unique is that we have all the stakeholders of the ecosystem operating in one place. They're also really networking and helping each other on a daily basis. Israeli startups are targeting global markets overseas from day one. Most experienced entrepreneurs help the younger ones just because they want to help them. They want to see them thrive. They want to make sure that the success of Startup Nation has actually a future through those young entrepreneurs. Tel Aviv being such a well-renowned startup ecosystem, we help bring Australian entrepreneurs here and help them work on their product and on their startup. A lot of startups have said that the trip to Israel really changed the way they see business and they see how to build the startups. Coming to Israel, we've raised some capital, which was really fantastic, and that enabled us to really build our team here. This is a place where people are interested in how you're doing, who can they connect you to, and that's one of the really special things about being in an environment like this.